G'day guys, Prime here. Thank you so much for watching these YouTube vlogs. Make sure you sub to the channel. It would mean the absolute world to me to have you guys all subbed out there, everyone that's watching. Guys, I've got to put food on the table, so make sure you check out my athlete programs. We've got Athlete Nutrition, The Shredding Athlete, The Muscle Building Athlete. We've also got the Elite Athlete Performance Plan for any sport, and of course, the AFL in-season gym program with Patrick Cripps and Tom Mitchell. Guys, use the code WEEKLYVLOG to get 20% off all of my programs, and also a random comment today will be chosen to win a program. So make sure you guys get commenting and check out any of my previous vlogs as well on that game day sort of stuff. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Let's get into this video. G'day legends. So we are out on a Friday afternoon trying to kick some goals. My set shot routine has been failing me a little bit lately. So I've come out on a Friday to try and rectify what I've been doing wrong. I've been practicing all week as well, just trying to run a bit straighter and also get my follow through arm very very straight as well so my right arm when it's coming off the ball to follow the ball straight through the goal so i'll show you a little bit of what i've been doing uh, but i like to do this on a friday come out do some set shots a uh, couple on a 45 couple from a tight angle couple from straight in front a couple from the other 45 and then a couple from the other angle so try to do about 10 to 20 set shots before on a friday just get used to what the wind's doing what your kick's doing and try and just get the perfect set shot routine give yourself a bit of confidence for the weekend when you do have a set shot let's get it Good morning, everybody. Hopefully, you guys have been absolutely loving the game day vlogs. We've got a bit of a different game day vlog today. I'm not going to show you too much of what's happening beforehand, but what I will show you is a little bit of what happens afterwards. Hopefully, we do get the win today. We do have a club function after as well tonight, so I will start to share a little bit of that with you guys as well, what happens after the game. Because I've had a few questions saying what happens after the game. We would love to see it, not just on your uh, Snap story. So, I will show you a little bit of that. Today, instead of going down to the beach, I'm just gonna have a cold shower. So if you don't have a beach where you live, maybe you're in Melbourne, it's bloody freezing. I'm just gonna have a cold shower, expose myself to some cold water this morning and do that. Um, then I'll get ready to go to footy, get ready to go to the game, and uh, yeah, pretty much lock and load. It's about 10.30 now. I'm gonna go up, have some breakfast and sort of stuff like that afterwards, and then hopefully get to the game. Um, and yeah, absolutely dominate. Let's go. I just jumped out of the shower and I always use my Tomorrow skincare products when I'm in the shower. So I got my gel cleanser and then afterwards I put on the liquid toner. They're very easy. They're just ranked one through three. So you can't stop it up if you don't know what to put on next. Next on you go with the Structure Serum. God, I almost said the theorem. Uh, structure, structure Serum, which has got uh, vitamin C, heap of different stuff in it. Vitamin C is really, really good for your skin. And then also, number four, the gel moisturizer, which is basically like steroids for your skin. It's got peptides, amino acids, and vitamin E in it. Absolutely fantastic. Keeps my skin good and keeps my acne away. I used to have a lot of bad acne problems when I was younger, so it's good to have good skincare that looks after me. Look good, play good, let's go. If you guys do want any of this stuff, just use the code PRIME to get 20% off and free shipping, I believe. So make sure you go check out these guys. They'll be fantastic for my skin, I reckon they'll be fantastic for you as well. Bag is packed. Got everything sorted. Got ourselves some pickle juice and that sort of stuff. Salt tablets so we don't cramp. Bit of other things, let's go. Good morning, again. Cooking up a feast. We've got the potato rosti, as usual, burning probably. Uh, two eggs, a couple of pieces of bacon, potato rosti, um, some spinach, a couple pieces of bread, nothing too special, just a, uh, the normal prime breakfast that we like to have. Um, today I'm uh, really motivated to, um, to play some better footy. I haven't been that good the last couple of weeks. I haven't been to the standard that I've wanted to be playing at. So today I'm really motivated to um, Play like the Bombers did last night up the Dons. Great to see him get a win. Uh, but yeah, like I said, really motivated to um, to play some better footy and just have my mind on the whole time, 100% uh, of the game. 
So that's going to be my, my goal today. And yeah, like I said, hopefully can play a bit like what the Bombers did last night with the same tenacity that they did. Um, so it's good to see the Bombers back in the winner's list. Hopefully we can be on the winner's list again today. Like I said, this week I'm just really motivated to go back to the preparing really well. No distractions. Obviously last week, a few distractions in there if you watch the game day vlog. But this week I'm really, really motivated to just have my mind on the game and um, and yeah, hopefully have a, have a really good performance and uh, hopefully get back on the winner's list. We've had two losses in a row now, so it's really important not to uh, not to fall to a side that is lower in the ladder than us and, and drop our standards. So, um, like I said, really, really motivated today to uh, to put our, our whole best foot forward as a team. Uh, it's been a big week on, a track, on the track. We've been training three times a week. So, um, yeah, hopefully back on the winner's list and hopefully, uh, um, hopefully can uh, acquire the four points. Breakfast is served, ladies and gents, let's go. We've got the bacon, potato rosti, scrambled eggs, spinach, let's go, bit of pineapple juice as well. All right, here we are at the footy ground. That's my here friend, Jono. Hey, Tyler, do you want to say hello? Hey, yo. Yep, this is uh, the ground that we're playing at today. It's going to be nice and sunny. And what do you say, Tyler? Go... Tigers. Go, Tigers. <laughs> Snorkel! Oh, yeah! Oh no! <laughs> game, play, vision, let's go. I'm totally in the zone before the game, really trying to focus. Usually I'm pretty like flamboyant and laughing and joking, but before the game, I'm really, really focused. Did have to go and meet Jack, who did buy a hat last week. Uh, and I was telling him after the game, mate, I will give you that hat, don't you stress. Hopefully after a big win. Uh, like I said, totally in the zone before the game. Really wanted to focus and dial in this week on what I needed to do to get the win. Two losses in a row, so we can't afford to have a third loss and drop back into that pack. We are sitting fifth at the moment. Morningside have only won two games, so this should be a game that we, uh, we're favourites for. So hopefully that doesn't affect our mentality. Um, and we can go in and get the result. We kicked the first goal and we're going against the wind, so uh, good to get the first goal on the board. Freeze kicks the second goal here as well. John O'Freeman, I always love when Freeze kicks a goal. He's just such a beast. I do love him. Um, so get around him. We're up by a few goals at the start. Um, against the wind, just trying to hold the ball in possession as much as we can. The, the more possession that you hold, the more fatigue the other team out and they'll have to run around a little bit more and they get the ball less, of course, as well. So a few kick marks here um, end up just kicking it kicking it long eventually, but trying to hold possession as much as we possibly can. We do get it forward and get a, um, get a set shot out of it, which is good. Freeze again, taking some good marks and started really, really well. Uh, doesn't matter... If you don't kick well on your left foot or your right foot, like always try and use your opposite foot. Try and have both, but just try and use it as much as you possibly can. Running forward here, great kick from Charlie, just getting it forward. Just fumble a little bit here, but that's all right. Pick it up. Could have gone for goal, but kicked to EJ, and unfortunately, it wasn't a great kick. Probably was going for a goal, but anyway. Um, plenty of flying for marks here in this game. And also, something that I've really been focusing on is trying to hit that short in the middle or try and break some lines. I feel like lately I've just been not really breaking lines, not really doing anything that has been of a massive effect on the game. Like, I want to get it and break a line, get past someone, do some different things, hit the inside kick, don't just try and go on the outside all the time or, or just try and... like. You want to have an effect on the game. So if you want to have an effect on the game, try and hit that inside kick. Try and take it on as much as you possibly can. I think that that's absolutely essential. Make sure you're vocal out there as well. Make sure that everybody has a man. I don't care who you are. It doesn't matter if you're not a leader. It doesn't matter if you're not the captain. Always try and be vocal. It's really, really, really important. A couple of handballs and, and kicks here. Um, started the game in the midfield and then went pretty much forward for the rest of the game. So I was pretty much almost at full forward for the rest of the game. Um, trying to kick some goals, I guess. Um, and yeah, hopefully make a difference. Tried to get the kick out here. Went Kind of went for goal. Kind of just put it to the top of the square. But we couldn't, unfortunately, um, kick any, get any goals out of that. It's pretty, it's pretty tight here. Like it's going kick for kick, goal for goal kind of thing. Um, even though the wind is going to the end that Morningside's kicking out at the moment, we do 
Um, sorry, no, the other way. The wind is going to our end that we're kicking at the moment. Um, just trying to get it long as much as we possibly can. So different to when you're going against the wind, just try and get it long, try and get it out the back so your forwards can uh, get that easy go out the back. And then another one here is always run around because you'll get that extra 10 meters um, on your kick, I reckon. And because people can't move on the mark, that's a really essential thing. Mavi kicks a great little goal here, which we love. Kicks some really nice goals, uh, little Maverick. So uh, absolute superstar. Like I said, Flying for a lot of marks, but you just have to sometimes. Don't be scared to fly for marks. Always go for them. Um, doesn't really matter. Just make a contest because it's two on one um, or they'll mark it if you don't go for it. And still, yeah, playing forward, but trying to lose my man going back into where the ball is and then run forward. Now, make sure you don't get too far back because then it'll leave an out number forward. Um, but yeah, get a uh, mark here. They kicked it out straight to me. The wind is blowing a gale and it's kind of blowing at my face and across the goal. So I'm trying to arc out a little bit. I know exactly what I want to do here. Um, hopefully, yeah, hopefully can just bring it back. I've kicked goals from here before. Just run out and get it back in and I've just tugged it a little bit and I'm really frustrated about that. Like, needed to kick a goal and I didn't. And it's really frustrating when it's been something that I've been bloody working on all week and it just doesn't come off. Anyway. Um, that's all right. You can't win them all. Always try and lead your man to the ball as much as you can. It's not about you trying and give the handballs off so you can kick goals. It's all about the team um, first. So hopefully, we can just keep pushing through and get the win. I don't like it when people push you from behind when you're not looking. I think it's soft. If you're going to push me or do something to me, do it to my face, not behind my back. I think that that's... I, I don't like it. But anyway, that's just me. Pretty terrible kick here from Harry, but that's all right. I made it work eventually. Um, just get to it. Just eyes on the ball. And then, again, I'm forward here, but I'm trying to get back to help out. Uh, obviously, going against the wind and then just trying to get out of defense. I actually missed that kick. It was an absolutely shocking kick. And Morningside just start to get a bit of a run on here. And uh, they kicked the last three goals of the third quarter in the last three minutes. So that left us reeling a little bit. And I wasn't happy at all. I, I've made some mistakes. Probably haven't had a massive influence on the game so far. But I knew, I like, you can question my ability, but I didn't want anyone to question my effort or intensity. So I knew in this last quarter, I was just going to come out and um, give 100% effort for 30 minutes. And it didn't matter what happened before the game or, um, you know, in the three quarters beforehand. I just knew that I was going to come out with 100% effort. And we end up kicking a goal out of this, which was really, really good. Joshy Wallace goes bang, which we love to see. Absolute superstar. And we start to come back. We're down by two goals. And they go down the other end and kick a goal, which is unfortunate. Um, so we're down by three here. Just trying to get involved as much as I can. I thought this could have been holding the ball. We completely dropped it. Uh, but like I said, just trying to bring that effort and intensity as much as I possibly can. We do get a goal out of it eventually. EJ goes bang and it's back to two goals, 78 to 90. So it's getting close. Leave this one for freeze. Calls me out of it, so I leave him for it. Unfortunately, drops a mark. Then number 10 comes through, tries to take it on. And uh, holding the ball could have been a ball up, but I'll definitely take the holding the ball every day of the week. And um, I've been practicing set shots all week and I just knew if I stayed to my routine, this would go through for a goal. Um, so plenty of things going through my head at the moment. This is to bring it back 84 to 90, 78 to 90 at the moment. And I just know if I stick to my routine, it'll go through. Not too much wind. It started to die down a little bit. Uh, new, again, stick to my routine, bang, goal. And I'm very, very happy with that. And we are coming. The Tigers are coming. It's 84 to 90. And uh, the boys are really, really up and about. We kicked a few goals in a row. And you just feel that momentum surge when um, everyone just wants to give 100% effort and, um, and work really hard. Ball comes in long here. Again, just make a contest as much as they can. Lay a tackle there as well. And we get it out the back. Tommy Rourke slaps it over the top to EJ. And EJ runs it in. I'm thinking, kick it, EJ, please. And he does. Bang. And he gives us the phone call. <laughs> Celebration, which is so elite. And uh, it's 90 all. It's 90-90. So... It's getting really close. There's about five minutes to go. I'm saying, boys, get it in. Get it in. I try to be a superstar and take a big hanger. Uh, didn't get off the ground and didn't mark it. And then this bloke tries to take me on. Ball, I say. It could have been holding the man, but it will take holding the ball every day of the week. And 
I'm happy. I'm thinking this is this is the game here. We've got probably four or five minutes to go. We go back and kick this, and we're um, we're in a really really good spot to go. Have a look over. Um, crowd started to build. I'm thinking we're we're good to go. And again, stick to my routine. And I know that um, it'll come, the wind's still coming across. So I think just hanging out to the right, it should go through the big sticks. Coming in, I've done my pause phase way too early. I've completely stuffed up my run up. I've gone kick it, it's felt really good off the boot and it's just slid across the face by like a couple of millimeters, it just missed the post. And I'm thinking, oh no, that's not good. Bussy has a shot. It's 91 to 90, now it's 92 to 90. We've kicked two behinds. Two opportunities that we didn't take. Um, unfortunately, as you can see back there, 92 to 90, there's only two or three minutes to go. Um, we just need to get it in and, and lock it in and lock it down. Uh, again, I went back to try and help out, lay a few tackles here and get a few more stoppages. Again, that's just time off the clock, holding it, holding it, holding it. And then I actually got called to go back forward, so I went back forward. It did um, minimise the extra that we had at the stoppage. Um, so I ended up going back forward here, and uh, which I shouldn't have done. I should have stayed at the stoppage. And I went to even it up, but I think I just should have stayed at the stoppage. And um, if I go back in time and change that, well, if I go back in time and change it, I would change me bloody missing that goal. I'll tell you that much for free. I'm pretty angry at myself at the moment um, at this stage, but I'm thinking we'll, we'll be all right. Um, hopefully we can just lock it down and hopefully we can, um, we can get the job done. Um, but yeah, no more than probably 20 or 30 seconds later, I go down the other end, um, and, uh, a few handballs here and there and they kick a goal. There's about 30 seconds to go. I am, I'm beyond devastated and honestly i'm filming this on a monday and i've struggled to sleep uh because i've missed that goal and it changed the game and it lost us the game in the end so i am devastated there's a bit of hoo-ha after the siren's gone um as you can see we're all devastated we worked so hard to get back into it um unfortunately we just couldn't give that Effort and intensity for the whole game. Um, but I just know that I'm going to work so hard this week so the same thing doesn't happen. <sighs> that is so disappointing. The one thing I've been working on all week has been my set shots, and in the end, the one thing that could have won the game for us, I fuck it up. So we've got a club function tonight. Um, what's the time now? Six. I think it starts at seven. I won't be going. Uh, I'm going to be staying at home. Uh, probably just watching the footy. And um, we've got recovery early tomorrow morning at um, uh, at 7 a.m., 8 a.m., I think. So um, I'll be fresh for that, get my eight hours sleep. But I'm um, really disappointed that, that in the end, I didn't get the job done, didn't play as well as I wanted to. I, I, my intensity was good. Um, I felt like I was giving effort the whole game. But unfortunately, just the execution of skills in the end was the, um, was the problem. So... Funny, the thing that you've worked on all week, you've been trying really hard to uh, rectify, is the thing that ends up bringing you down. So, what are you going to do? You're going to, you know, drop your bundle and say, fuck, I give up? Oh, or are you going to go again this week? It's three losses in a row. Uh, we've lost to the second worst team on the ladder this week, which is absolutely atrocious and embarrassing um, for our club. So, um, yeah, I guess we're um, back to the drawing board a little bit. There's a few different things that need to happen and a few things that we need to change, um, whether that's personally um, and, you know, yeah. Anyway, 
Un unfortunate, disappointing, and uh, sorry that uh, the last three vlogs have been depressing because we've been losing. Um, but yeah, hopefully we can get back to the winners list very, very soon. We've been working very hard throughout the week, so hopefully we can um, yeah start winning some more games. Shout out to Morningside; they played really well. Fantastic, um, fantastic team. They just they were just too good for us. So well under them. Good work. Um, and yeah, on to next week. That's all I've got for you.